Hi, this is Rod Rorick. Welcome back to Rorick Knows Podcast, helping you become a better you. What's all the rage about Ozempic, the weight loss drugs? Is it safe? How do you use it? Well, I was very fortunate to recruit one of my close friends who's also a world expert. He's, a, he's an endocrinologist. He's a full professor at UT Southwestern, Dr. Phil Raskin. Welcome. Well, thank you. Glad yeah. to be here. He's amazing, and you know, I've known I've known you for a few years. A few years. And um, he is amazing. Not only is he an amazing clinician, he's a wonderful person, and he's a good friend. So I'm going to ask him some questions that you may want to know and hear about Ozempic and all the other drugs that people are using, like alphabet soup, and trying to lose weight and all these things, and so and Hollywood actors and actresses use it. So, Phil, tell me a little, a little bit about this, these drugs, Ozempic, Manjaro, and what, well, what, Ozempic what are and, they? Ozempic and Manjaro are the same drug. They are. Yeah, semi-glutide. It's a, they're called GLP-1 receptor agonists. And, and what does that mean? Well, GLP-1 hormones are made by the lining of the stomach and, and an intestine. And, you know, they have some regulatory a function in you know normal life but they've been used now in the last couple of years first for diabetes mm -hmm. of which you're a world expert which they're used for diabetes and now in much bigger doses they've been used uh, for weight loss so does it block this receptor well they it's an agonist that makes it better but the, it what it what they do is that they First of all, have some effect on the on the stomach, and it slows gastric empty, okay. and gives you this feeling. It gets into your brain too. That you feel like you're full. Feel like you're full, and there's been really good clinical trials and, and not trials and clinical trials, but good studies showing how it reduces appetite. Okay. Uh, and and it also slows gastrointestinal function, and so when you eat. First of all, you're not all that hungry. Right. And secondly, uh, your stomach feels fully, you take two bites. And actually, one of the side effects of these drugs is is nausea. Oh, really? Oh, and sometimes even vomiting because the gastric. And some people, I mean, I've given it to patients and they take one dose and they're so nauseated that they'll they won't never it again. take it again. And you know, so the the way you do it is you tell them just you start low and go slow, low dose and slowly increase. And it's an injectable, a sub -cute. It's a shot. Yeah, it's a shot. And but people have to be prepared to tolerate the the side effects, this f feeling of nausea and stomach pains and stuff. And it goes away if you keep using it. It's called tachyphylaxis tachyphylaxis you know, tachyphylaxis you get used to it that's what you it means right you get used to it right you get, you get used to it yeah but the problem is one of the things that i've noticed is that the the effectiveness on it goes away too one, oh, of, it one does? of the things i've noticed in the last couple because you know, it's a very, pretty new drugs i mean i've only been using them People have only been available for a couple of years. And you've been using it primarily in your diabetic patients. Yeah, right? I've been using it almost only in my diabetic right. patients. Right, exactly. and it my works. type 2 diabetic patients, not the type 1s. It's not approved for type 1 diabetes. Okay. Now, Ozempec, just so we get some of this regulatory stuff. So they're kind of the same drug. They are the same drug, but one's approved for diabetes, right? Or in One's approved for diabetes. The other one, they changed the name. And, I mean, it, but it's the same drug. And, and Mongero. It's, yeah, Monjura, Wigovi or Wigovi. Okay. It's the other name for it. And, you know, it's the same thing, but they've somehow gotten approval, approval for two different names. Okay. But you can use either one for whatever you want to use it for in the right dose. Okay. And uh, so tell me. Uh, you, you've used it for a couple of years, and I, I think yeah, is, mostly is, for diabetes. Nobody's for diabetes. So, is it? I mean, obviously, there's been a lot of clinical trials to get this approved by the FDA. So, so it is safe. Yeah, it's safe. It's safe, and and it's effective. But you know, like every drug, it doesn't work the same in everybody. And exactly. It doesn't always work the way you think it's going to work. I, I mean, for diabetes, it's good because a it decreases appetite, and cuts down on what people eat and that you know if you have type 2 diabetes that's good the biggest 
treatment for it is the diet, you know, to watch what you eat. Right. But it also sort of stimulates your pancreas to make more insulin. It does. And, yeah, and there's another hormone in the pancreas called glucagon. Right. And glucagon actually lo- raises blood sugar. So the, these, the, these uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists stimulate insulin secretion and decrease glucagon Oh, wow, secretion. so it's so a double, that, it's a a double, double win. win. Yeah. Really? So it's a pretty effective drug. Uh, and people have been using it for a couple of years, and you know it's good. And it also causes people to lose weight if you t- take it. I mean, the the mac the dose for weight loss for this semiglutide is is three or four point five milligrams weekly, uh, weekly, and it's a once a week shot. And for for diabetes, you know, the maximum is like one point five or three milligrams a week. So it's not that much. More. I mean, no, it's not that much more. No. Right. So, so you titrate them and start them early. Well, if you don't, if you start with a big dose, they'll throw their, throw up their brains. <laughs> they get so nauseated. You know, they can't really. Take it. Oh yeah, I've had people that I've started on the low dose and they can't tolerate it. Really? Yeah. How often is that? Well, it, it hasn't Depends. been that often, but you know, at the very beginning, it was. You know, pretty off-putting. You know that I give him a drug that this nauseated. nice lady, and I started at the small dose, and two days later she calls me up. Says, "Doc, it made me so nauseated. I'm never taking another shot." <laughs> you know, and, and if you give it the weekly dose, yeah, because there's one you, a form of the drug that you can give once a day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, but who wants to take a shot once a day when you can take one once a week? So right. I. You know, the insurance sometimes has something to say about what kind of drugs you can prescribe to your patients. Yeah. So tell me, like, who's an ideal patient? Now, I mean, you, you, obviously the diabetics, but what about a weight loss patient, which is probably, I mean, who's like an ideal uh, weight loss patient? They have to have a BMI, like, higher than 30, or right? Or? Well, you would think that, but they're not. People are taken with, uh, you know, with oh, really? 27, 26 and a half. You know, somebody wants to lose weight. Take a couple of shots, you lose the weight. But you have to see a doctor, right? You have to see. Well, you got to get the doctor to prescribe it, and I'm I'm sure it's not so hard to do. So anybody can prescribe. Anybody it. I mean, you're prescribe. you're a world you're a diabetologist, but I mean anybody but can. Any, anybody that has a pen, <laughs> <laughs> that has an MD, right? It's <laughs> an MD or a DO can a t- do it. Right, they can yeah. do it. Okay, so that has a pen. <laughs> so, but so, so basically, you, you give it once a week, and then you gradually increase the dose as the side effects decrease, right? Well, you you d- start low and go up. You know, I, I usually get it comes in three, three different vials. doses. No, three five. So I, the pack you can get in three packs. So I usually give it for three weeks, once a week, and then see how it goes, and then raise it. And sometimes, if I think this person's going to have trouble, I mean, usually none of this stuff is an emergency. Right, right. It's not an emergency for being overweight. Right. And it's certainly not an emergency for diabetes. And so I start very low and go very slowly. I try to reduce. The side effects, and you can do that. Right. And, and basically, it's a, it's a great adjunct to you know diet, which is, is right. a big and thing. And exercise. And exercise. So so diet and exercise are obviously still paramount, but this just augments your ability to have a to better diet. Yeah. yeah, and also you can. I mean, I give it with people that are on insulin, people that are on. Oh, you do. For ta- oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's a. It's a very because it add-on. increases your it increases your insulin production and decrease and, and decreases, decreases glucagon, glucagon, which is a good thing and it is a very good thing. So what are the what are the long term side effects of this? Then if it's it sounds like it's you know all drugs have problems. So so what are the long term downsides well, of this drug? Well, the immediate the immediate downside is it's it's been known to cause pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis, which. Believe me, nobody wants to have because it's a very painful one. How, how does that happen? I mean, how I'm often is sure. it? How I, is it? it does, I have, it doesn't happen very much, but if it does, you got, you know, a, your patient has a problem and you don't want that. But for the most part, I've used it. The only side effects has been the, have been the gastrointestinal ones. Some people get some diarrhea from it. And, and the good news is if you stop it, <laughs> 
the side effects go away. It's not like it makes your ears blue, and when you stop the medicine, your ears stay blue. <laughs> okay. You know, it's not like that. But also, you know, you and I have talked about this, but so when you stop the drug, what happens? Most people gain the weight right back. And if they been, haven't yeah. learned to adjust their diet. I mean, so it's a lifestyle change. It's, it's well, it, it's, I mean, it's more than that. I mean, it is a lifestyle change, but it makes you change your lifestyle. I mean, I think people that are taking this drug are going to have to take it for life forever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If they want to keep their weight off. If they want to keep the weight off. Now, unless they've been able to change their behavior in such a way that they, you know, right. exercise and don't eat so much and watch what it is that they're eating, the kind of foods they're eating. So, so what do you what do you recommend then for these patients? You say it is a lifelong medication. It's well, safe. It seems to be. I mean, it, it, the the effect wears off if you don't take it. Okay. And then what about? I mean, obviously encouraging them to do, and we're going to talk about that in the next segment about intermittent fasting. But what what is what do you find is the best way to maintain your weight? With or without this medication, what do you, what do you tell your patient? Because for 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 you and I, it's obviously something we need to do. But for diabetics, it is an it's a game changer. So yeah. what do you what works the well, best we, in your know, for, many many years experience? First of all, I said to a licensed you know dietitian, that's okay. the first thing, and, and teach them try to teach them how to eat. And one of the things that's I, I don't suggest this to everybody but you know they have these continuous blood glucose monitoring right. systems yeah i've seen them on tiktok yeah, on, and, yeah they've seen them on tiktok and see them on people and and the thing of it is what the thing that's the best about that that the patient my patients tell me is you know they can look and see what their blood sugar is every five minutes not hardly anybody on the planet with diabetes needs to know what their blood sugar is every five minutes but they can they can look at what's on their phone i see people walking around like this looking right. at their phone so if they're eating bad they go you know, oh my yeah, god yeah but what it can what it tells them is what that bowl of spaghetti that they ate does to their blood sugar or what that peanut bar does to their blood sugar and so in some ways these devices are educational right because they can see what it does to their blood pressure and they can you know modify their behavior to right. re reduce that yeah it gives them good feedback yes it does that's great that's great. so dr raskin that was amazing and so tell us like the you know the, the five take home <laughs> that you think that the consumer should know about you know manjaro and ozempic and you know obviously it's safe it, it seems is to safe. work. It is safe. It seems to work. It does have these gastrointestinal side effects, which, at least at the beginning, can be unpleasant. It, if you stop taking it, usually it goes away. It go, the effect goes away, and the weight will come back if you're not careful. And how and much weight can they lose? Well, I mean, the average weight, if you look at the clinical trials, has only been, you know, 12, 14, 15 pounds. Oh, really? But. I've seen people lose 50 pounds. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's individual, but the average is, you know, 15, 20 pounds. Now, right. 15 or 20 pounds on somebody that's 315 pounds, you won't be able to even see. <laughs> but, you know, for, and, and nobody, anybody wants, to, everybody on the planet wants to lose weight. Right. Of course. Yeah. Myself included. And I can <laughs> just tell you that for, for you know, if you can afford this, the other thing about it is it's expensive. it's very, very expensive. And, you know, I don't know how how much the insurance companies are covering it for weight loss. I mean, uh, probably not. Probably not. If you're, you know, 10 pounds overweight and you want to get rid of the 10 pounds, I don't think your insurance will cover it. But if you're 300 pounds or, you know, 40 percent right. overweight, you probably can get it paid for but right. the rest of us probably have to pay for it out of pocket and right. it is expensive yeah so it's safe it works you have to use it long term perhaps right. for life probably for life yeah and uh and the side effects usually go away but also so does so does its ability to stop your satiety well, right that, that's been my experience right that's what i've noticed so after, after two years it may stop years, working it may stop people say doc it doesn't work anymore 
Wow. So that's something that people don't know. That is something that people don't know. And I can tell you, I want to study. I wanted to study it. But to be honest, I don't have the, the energy now to take up something like <laughs> well, that now. Well, that's that's fantastic. And we'll we'll provide that list for you. You know, safe long term effects uh, may dissipate. It does work. Uh, the, the side effects do dissipate. And, uh, you know, it's for people that want to lose 20, 20 pounds, help, hopefully help you change your lifestyle when you're doing it. And it has some positive effects on your body. It so, does. It yeah. Does. So, well, thank you, Dr. Raskin. I mean, incredible wise words from a very wise man, <laughs> Dr. Phil Raskin, UT Southwestern. Thank you much for joining Roy Knows podcast, helping you become a more educated you and a better you.